So guys, there have been loads of requests for this one, and I have to admit, it brings up a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions for me. Is spinal manipulation an effective treatment for long-term low back pain? Let's find out. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So there's so much controversy around this subject. We've all heard those stories of patients who have been sent and have paid hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars for maintenance spinal manipulation, told by therapists that they need to come for 30, 40, 50 sessions. If they don't, their spine will be out of alignment, things won't heal, and they just won't get better. So this is one I really wanna dive into. So the paper I have to share with you is from Senna and Macaulay from 2011, a little bit of a while ago, but when I was searching for research that supported spinal manipulation, this is one that came up a lot, so I wanted to check it out. So this research group took 60 patients and split them into three groups. Group one had 12 sessions of sham spinal manipulation in a one month period only. Group two had 12 sessions of real spinal manipulation in a one month period only. And group three had 12 sessions of real spinal manipulation in a one month period, but also nine months of maintenance spinal manipulative therapy every two weeks. And then the researchers followed up all patients at the one month, four month, seven month, and 10 month interval. So I'm gonna dive straight into the results. So after one month, when all three groups had had 12 sessions of treatment, the sham manipulation group did not show significant improvements in their symptoms, whereas groups two and three who had real spinal manipulation did show improvements in their symptoms. Then they looked at things at the 10 month period. So group two, who only had one month of spinal manipulation at the beginning, found that their symptoms didn't necessarily continue to improve over that 10 month period. However, group three who had nine months of maintenance manipulation did find longer lasting improvements in their symptoms. So that's it, case closed. Spinal manipulation works, right? Well, maybe, but also a really big no. Why? Because it shows that spinal manipulation unfortunately is very often seen as a short term treatment. And the researchers highlighted this themselves in their very own text. They highlighted that group two had 12 sessions of spinal manipulation in a one month period. That's every two to three days, that's a lot of therapy. However, at the 10 month period, their symptoms had gone back to how they were before. And actually, you could see from the results that there was a gradual decline in their symptoms between month four and month 10. And they showed that only group three, only the group who had ongoing manipulation every two weeks, were the only group who had sustained progress. So the key point, when the manipulation stops, the improvement stops. And so ultimately, sure, maintenance manipulation can help people over a long period of time, but patients need to know that if the manipulation stops, then there's a good chance that their improvements stop as well. And in reality, we unfortunately don't always see that. We have some therapists, not all, but some therapists who are like this guy. Yeah, you know what? You're just gonna have to keep coming to see me for like twice a week, maybe three times a week for the next nine months. You know, if we only do it for three months, it's not gonna work. Your back needs time to heal. Things are gonna stay out of alignment. It's not gonna be helpful. You need to come for the whole time. But hey, look, the study has shown that it can be helpful for some patients, but therefore it needs a different conversation. A bit more like this guy. So what I can't promise you is that if you come and see me every two weeks for the next four months, that it's gonna feel loads better for the next two years. But what we do know about spinal manipulation is that it can be effective in creating short-term pain relief. It might mean that it allows you to go about your things and be in less pain for that period of time. 
And if that's what you're looking for, fantastic. It then gives you a choice as to how often you might want to come and see me to get that pain relief. And if that's the way you want to go, fantastic. I'm happy to keep seeing you on that basis. But it's important for me to say and for you to know that what we do here may or may not have long term results after each session. Are you OK with that? Now this I'm good with. Patients have the understanding. They have the choice. And you know what? Lots of patients out there might operate in that way where they're quite happy to go once a month or once every two weeks in order to have that treatment that gives them that pain relief. And if that's the case, I'm much more understanding of the situation. And hey, perhaps we could even mix into there some exercise, some long term management strategies for them to help them on their journey. And if we have that, then I feel much better about things. So here we've gone through spinal manipulation for long term low back pain. But that's just one side of the coin. I also want to dive into the effects of spinal manipulation on acute low back pain. And I will bring this out over the next two to three days with my next video. But once it's out, you'll be able to find it up here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please support us by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. And if you want more from us, check out our website, clinicalphysio.com. I'm Khalid. See you really soon here on Clinical Physio.